Mapuche and Chileans have always been in conflict. At the core is the question of the land. One possible clue to understand the complexity of the issue may be given by the fact that in Spanish we don't have two words for land and earth. So we have tended to mix, as if it was the same thing, the dispute over the land, its ownership and the historical property rights with a deeper notion of earth as planet. Be it for legal, political or cultural reasons, the fact is that violence has escalated. So, how will we live together? We thought of recovering the old tradition of parlis, the Coyactun. One condition of the parlis was a minimum symmetry of knowledge between the parties. Mapuche say they know about Chile, but Chileans have no clue about Mapuche. Two of the parties in conflict decided to approach each other, a forest company and a Mapuche association of communities. We were called to do a project that could contribute to such rapprochement. We traveled south to Loncoche, but our real journey was through a long history of mistrust and skepticism. We had to unlearn whatever we thought we knew about the conflict and then just listen and observe. Se hace todos los, los pueblos se ganan ahí y, y ahí va a estar implícitamente la cultura y la religiosidad mapuche. O sea, nosotros no queremos que, que se pierdan. Sería muy difícil hacer una cuestión así que esté vuelta para allá. We had mixed feelings. On the one hand, this looked like an opportunity. Such diversity of programs could work as a portal to the Mapuche world a step towards a symmetry of knowledge. But on the other hand, it was way out of scale for Longcoche and risked to simply not be realistic. How to be open to their expectations and at the same time manage them responsibly? We thought of introducing time into their request, built in sequence instead of all at once. A small city, not a big building. And if a city is the case, it has to start with a foundational act. But how to design something that felt familiar, as if it had always been there, when such civic architecture never existed? What about something circular, guided by Mario Mila drawing in the air, oriented east, crucial for the Mapuche world, made out of trees in order to last, and vertical to make it visible from afar? Was this symbolic gesture going to be accepted as part of the Mapuche identity? Were they going to trust a non-Mapuche to design a Mapuche place? Was the idea of building in sequence going to make sense? Or was it going to be considered another excuse to end up doing nothing at all? Es un gesto político mapuche. La forma en que yo voy pasando por la carretera y veo eso, a mí me dice que aquí hay algo que es súper importante. Hay territorio, hay mapuche, hay historia, hay kimun, rakiswam. 
Y eso hasta el momento no se ve en ninguna parte. Como lo dije delante, pero es potente en la simplicidad. A mí me hace completamente sentido. Nosotros fuimos muy criticados por los dirigentes y por la gente en general. Si lográramos, yo creo que lo vamos a lograr. Tener esto marcaría un precedente no solo en la comuna, no solo en la región, en el país. Eso es tremendo. Disculpen que me emocione, pero así es cierto esta cuestión. Eh, creo que le cambiaría más el switch a aquella gente que habla del pueblo mapuche que somos terroristas, que nosotros somos personas pensantes, somos visionarios. Mapuche called this place to get to know each other, Kunu. So we proceed to build it. In the end, the form remained rather simple. Not because we were pursuing a less is more. On the contrary. If anything, we went for the more or less. More or less a circle, more or less oriented east. It was not a lack of precision. Technically speaking, the assembly was calculated to the last millimeter. We just knew design had to be open to dialogue. aquellos tiempos nuestros loncos, nuestros huilchafes, la sufrieron, caeron, ya lo decía mi peño que mano, fueron descapitados. Vi como todo esto si fuera puras personas. Los palos más largos significan lo que estuvieron antes que nosotros. Y si lo ven ustedes pintado de azul, es porque están todos mirando al caifu bueno, al bueno malo. Y luego están más atrás que son los, los palos más pequeños, eso nos representa a nosotros. Por eso es, para nosotros, eso es un memorial de los que caeron, los que estuvieron antes que nosotros. The question is, will the Kun open the path to Ecoyahue, a place to parley? De ser un camino, estamos diciendo que es el único camino, puede ser una forma.